Files at the Scotiabank Convention Center right now at the Dave Schultz Celebrity Roast, hosted by the Steve Ludzik Foundation. Now it's time to take it behind the scenes as we chat with some tonight's special guests. Talk about tonight, how special is an event like this? Well, I mean, you get to see a lot of guys you don't normally see being an ex-player. I, I mean, Dave Schultz, the guy we're roasting tonight, is somebody that, uh, you know, I watched as a kid during the 70s. I know that was a long time ago. And a guy I got to meet when I finished my career in Philadelphia was along this there, and he was a very good man and a, and a great guy that, uh, you know, took you under his wing. So it's going to be difficult to, uh, you know, say negative things about Dave, but I'm pretty sure I'm a good distance away from him. We'll be okay. Now, you already started roasting by saying he's a lot older than you. Well, you know, you asked if I played with him. I said, no, he's a lot older than me. I can't believe he didn't look that up because you can tell naturally, but it's hard to see because I carry my age really well. Now, you said that you were, or he was an alum when you actually yeah. started playing in Philly. So what was his reputation when you uh, when you talked in the town? Well, he's God, right? I mean, Dave Schultz is the hammer, right? I mean, the 70s, the Flyers. I mean, I played with Terry Chris was my coach in Calgary when we won the Stanley Cup. So some stories from Terry Chris about Dave. But going to Philadelphia, as I said, the Watson boys, uh, you know, Bernie Perron, guy, Bobby Clark, guys like that. But Dave Schultz is a, is a god in Philadelphia, god in Pennsylvania, and I think he's, you know, he's he's a really humble guy. So it's it's hard to, if you didn't see what he did, to actually know what he did, uh, you know, it's, it makes it very difficult. And I think, you know, as long as he stays calm in his old age, I'll be happy. Now, their era was the bully era. Yeah. So did that change the way that you played in your era coming in? Well, no, because I came in late 70s, early 80s, and then uh, they were, I guess, Philadelphia. Actually, my first experience with uh, Philadelphia was like I got called up after junior to play in the American League with Montreal's farm system, Halifax, Norty Jersey. We were playing the Maine Mariners, which is Philadelphia's farm system. So they had Stanley and Paddock and all these other guys. So my first game, three fights, three shifts, and I like call home. I'm like 19. My mom said, how'd you do? And I said, well, I got three shifts. She says, well, how come you didn't play so much? I said, because every time I stepped on the eggs, about six guys are chasing me around. So, I mean, at the end of that era, uh, you know, the 80s were still a physical era, but I don't think you can compare any era to the 70s as how physical that was. Now, you said it's difficult to say one negative thing about yeah. him, but something funny. How would you roast him? Well, you know, again, I, I can't save all my material, you know, show you all my good stuff right now, but I think, you know, with Schultz, at the end of the day, a lot of them, uh, you know, when he came out, uh, he started fighting a lot, so his hands got sore, so he started wrapping them, and then when the league stepped in and said, you know, no more wrapping your hands, tinfoil sales went down the shitter from there, so. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very Thank you much. Very great meeting nice you. Bye-bye.